Okay. <clears throat> well, that shit box. Stuck sitting on the hoist. Oh, yeah, got a new chair. Mighty chair mod. Anyway. Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. It's wonderful to have you guys here again as always. Um, today in this video, I was hoping to be installing the rockers and push rods onto this thing. However, I have found out my push rods are too short by about five mil. So I'm just waiting on a new set of push rods. So I will video that when they arrive. Still like to get hooked into that shit box, but with this thing stuck on the hoist, it's a bit hard. Go throw this junk out. Um, yeah, so got the motor assembled. Again, I'll, I'll make the video of that when I when the push rods arrive. Hopefully, they'll be here in a couple of days. But this thing still has uh, no diff in it. So I figured I'd go over uh, and video that today. So I got this diff. Uh, Cameron was nice enough to do a straight swap for me. Uh, with this diff, this is a 3.4 M80. Um, well, 3.4 ratio M80. I've gone and swapped over the the three bolt rubber yoke deal for my four bolt flange already. And um, did that a couple weeks ago. Um, but today I need to go and get this ready to go back into the car. I've got to install things like the rear mount. But first I want to do my washer mod to it. So I will go over and show you guys how I do that. Um, and then I got this diff which is a 3-7 ratio um, I'm not going to do anything with it at the moment but eventually I'll clean it and pop some half some stub axles in it and uh, wash a mod it and put a 4 volt flange on it so that way I've got two different ratios I can use to swap out so if I'm ever at an event and I want to get I don't know maybe a bit better launch or not as much top end I got a different ratio there to choose from but the 3 4 is the one I want to use for the street because it's going to make it a little less sucky driving it on the street so yeah anyway um, if you guys haven't seen my angry diff special video where I show you guys my washer mod then you guys will get to see it today in this video anyway I'm going to get this heavy lump over there on the bench we'll get it torn apart I gotta get the stub axles out of it the back plate off it and the center out and then we'll go from there first things first I gotta get the center out of this fucker god those things suck
there we have the center. So you can tell it's an M80 because it's got a nice big wide gear. The uh, the M78s were a lot smaller. Pretty sure. Anyway, so the bit that I want to get to is here in the center. So, go ahead and pop this guy open. So here we have the, the center gears, pop that guy over there, springs, and this is essentially what we're going to be up so they have this cone and it uh, it rides in this surface here and is basically what locks it so Essentially, we take advantage of uh, the friction going on in the center and we apply some more to it. So it has these springs in there. And the way I go about making it lock up more is you put a washer in here and it basically shims up these springs and Puts a bit more tension on them. So you don't want to go shimming them up too much, which was the problem with my Angry Diff special. I, uh, I shimmed that one up too much and they don't like it. at all here I am struggling to get this fucking thing back together Like so, so you don't want to go and put too big of a washer, but you want to basically put a washer down in there. Um, you guys can't see it very well. I'll get the action cam out. Okay, so you want to get a washer down in there. This is where the springs go. They just, they ride down in there in the center of it. And it's basically just going to float. In between these, there's one of these at either side, like that. And they basically just apply the pressure out here onto each of these cones. I'm pretty sure this mod works with just about every one of these conical type uh, diffs. And you could probably do this even when a, with a clutch pack diff. This is essentially what they're doing when they're shimming the clutch packs up, is they're just increasing the, the bite in the, the friction area. So I'm going to go ahead and get a washer. Now you don't want too thick of a washer. If you go and put too thick of a washer in there like I did, uh, it gets angry and it hates it. So definitely don't do that. Um, but you shouldn't need too big of a washer anyway.
So something like this should really realistically be all you need. Um, don't know if I'm going to do the two. Can't get it back now. Yeah, I think two of these is going to be too much. But as you can see, it's just going to ride here on these springs. Just apply some more force. Um, I'm going to go and see what I've got in the way of washers. See if I've got a slightly thicker one. This will work fine. Like ideally, if you just want a little bit more bite, something like this. This thickness was what I used the first time, and it's too much. It really hates it. It does not like life. So I'm going to try and find something in between two washers and this washer. So in between the one and the two. If not, I'll just pop one of these guys in there. All right, so I got one. This is one of my valve spring shims. Uh, it's about a mil and a half. These are about 1.1, mil. So it's a little bit thicker, but it's not as thick as if I jammed two of these in there, which I know that will be too much. This will be about perfect. So it just goes down there in the hole like that. And then your springs go back on top of them like that. And that goes back on top of there like that. And then that center section goes back on top. And that's it. That's how you shim up one of these conical type diff centers. And it will lock it up a lot nicer. Um, and well, here's my uh, word of warning again, I guess, or my disclaimer. Do this at your own risk. This isn't good for these diffs, um, it will kill them faster. Um, having said that though, the one that I did last time with my, that was in the car with the three nine gears, did last me five years of me abusing the shit out of it. So it can't be that bad, but um, yeah, don't get too greedy with your washers, fellas. Just something like that, or the mill and a half like that one in there is all you need. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing back together. I believe one of these bolt holes is a little fucky. So I'm going to have a look at that. Maybe clean them all out with a tap. Clean off this surface here quickly. And then get a bolt back together. I'll get the lid sealed up and we'll get the diff in the car. Sweet, I'm happy with that.
perfect. Should be enough backlash. Make sure you remember to put these little locking tabs back on. One eternity later. Alright, well, that's it. There we have it. Apple now has a, a diff back in it. Well, the axles are tight. Diff mounts back in, ABS back on. Everything's all tight and ready to go. Now I can get a tail shaft measured and made up once I get the trans and yeah I think the next probably step I'm going to do to the chassis is uh, I'll make up a, a little bucket thing for the shifter that'll also block this hole off and uh, get the shifter mounted at the same time. Um, most of that I'm still just waiting for the transmission. Also the next video will probably be uh, rockers, push rods, and we'll get the intake back on this thing. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it running again. Should be pretty spicy, I hope, or it's gonna fail miserably. I get the feeling like this iteration might be the one where it uh, finally kicks a rod or crank out of the bottom of the sump but that's a problem for future me um for now i'm gonna get her running again and back making some noise and having a bit of fun hopefully before it self grenades um but yeah i'm pretty happy with that happy to have a diff back in the car now so i'll get some oil in it um another day and yeah, probably should look into some new tyres. 100k in our power skids have uh, not been kind to these ones, and they're getting pretty hard. 
Um, yeah, well, anyway, that's where I'm going to end it off in this video today, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. Please leave your like, comments, likes, and comments down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to see me suck at playing some video games, head over to my other channel I've created, uh, Cheese for Dinner Gaming, and uh, watch me have a play through some older style video games at the moment. Um, but yeah, anyway. Also, don't forget, uh, you can catch me on Friday Night Lives on this channel. Usually Friday night, about 7pm Brizzy time, if you want to hang out and have a chat, ask me any questions. Mm, apart from that, I'm going to go inside and enjoy what's left on my weekend, get some videos edited, have a couple of drinks, and suffer in the, the lockdown. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to unleash the boost, see you to the world, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.